Hello, Jose Luis. How are you feeling? I want to know what you feel about the game that you've just played. There's a thousand things that have happened. There's a good result that you've come away with. Congratulations for that. Could you tell me a little bit the way that you've celebrated this game? The way that it's changed in the last minute. Sevilla take home a great result, a 2 all draw, home to our city. My evaluation of the game, first of all, most high to everyone. The first 30 minutes was poor for us, was great for them. They've scored two against us. They've caused us problems, danger. We weren't able to put to knit four passes together to create anything. We weren't well positioned on the pitch. We were very far from each other, far away from each other, to be able to play between the lines. And I think we lost all our duels, all our the roles that we had to play. I think in the second half, our defenders were a bit higher up. We controlled the way that they played a little bit more and we were able to create a bit of danger. At halftime, we said, listen, we're 2-0 down. We score one goal. We're back in, back in the tie. We don't have to let our heads drop. And bit by bit, they stopped creating as much danger, made it a bit more complicated. We didn't suffer as much as we did in the first half, and that's football. You know, it looked like the ball went through and, we, and it was almost a lost cause. And I think they thought they were, they, they became scared once we, we equalised. And I think they were nervous towards the end because we managed to equalise. Lisandro Martinez got injured. So in the end, we had chances of even turning the game around and, and, and going away as winners. But the result is great. We've known how to compete tonight. We've competed really well. How do we celebrate? Well, they're really happy in the, in the dressing room there. I think in this competition, Sevilla have that soul. They believe in this competition. So I think that's... We've gone into the dressing room there, crazy, happy. And they believe in what we do, which is really important. They believe in what we want to do. Results help with that as well. Question over there, please. This club has something special with this competition. You've seen that on the pitch today. These aren't kind of normal things, but what's your feeling about that? It's true. That's the way it is. That's what we said. I think People respect Sevilla in this competition. When Manchester were playing well and things were going well for them, you know, it was, it was very easy for them. They scored two goals against us. They could have scored even more. But when Sevilla pushed up forward and pulled it back to 2-1, I think they felt our presence in there. And then in 10 minutes, a 10-minute spell, we were able to equalise and then towards the end... Given Lissandro Martinez went off, we had options and opportunities to win the game. I think all the teams, regardless of who you face, respect Sevilla a great deal in this competition. And that's what we try to take advantage of as well, because it's definitely a plus point, an advantage for us. A question... How many minutes did you feel you could play with that starting 11 before changing it? Yeah, if we'd lost 4-0, you would... Um, na now you have to kind of shut your mouth, but if I'd uh, lost 4-0 with that starting 11, then it would have been my issue. my issue. We play in two competitions. You know, in the second... The league, we, we play a, a game in... just It's just around the corner. You know, we... We have to look at this condition of the players. The other day against Celta, we played with lots of... We played for a long period, 70 minutes, with 10 men. So those players haven't come out and played today. Some of those have come on the pitch later, and they've helped us within the game. But we have to 
do a bit of everything to be able to pick a starting 11 for each game. You know, with so many injuries that we've had, we've got players coming back. Papu, Rekic have played without having started during a long time. Johan as well is, is also being injured. Tecatito was also injured. We had to give them, you know, look at the pool of players we had and try and, and think about the two competitions we're playing, the league and this Europa League. Is there optimism in the dressing room after that result? Yes, there's optimism, of course, because I think it's a good result for us. But we're not going over the top. We're not thinking, you know, we have to understand we're going to play against a really tough, a huge opponent in Manchester United, regardless of the fact we're playing at home. We have a bit of an advantage given our fans, but it's not too much of an advantage. Ultimately, it's 11 v 11 on the pitch. So in the end, it's going to be a really tough game for us. I think both teams have a game to deal with in the middle in our league. So we'll have to see how our plays recover and the state that we're in. I've said we've got injured players. They've also got a number of injured players. A couple have come, have come away with injuries today. So we hope we can get our players back. But obviously they're very, very happy. But we're kind of keeping a lid on this happiness. We're not too euphoric because we know it's going to be a really tough game when we play them in the Sanchez Piquan. Sampaoli often played with the one striker up top. Today, you've gone with Lamella as a lone striker, almost a false nine. Was that because of the way that was the way you saw the game potentially panning out? No, we we would we played somebody who you know doesn't normally play in that position. We thought for this game. We thought Lamela could play there today. And that was the simply what it was. Rafa was training well. And in the end, he had a few knocks after the game against Celta. And what we wanted for it was for him to score a goal today. I think that's what we have to do. We have to kind of look at the plays we have and see what we can get on the pitch to compete. I hope that... All the players I have can be useful because from now until the end of the season, we're going to need to use all those players. We're going to have injuries. We're going to have players out that are suspended. So nobody is ruled out in this team. That's funny. <coughs> uh, yeah, um, Bruno Fernandes is now suspended for the return leg. United have a lot of injury concerns. I think the policy going to be Martinez, Rashford are probably going to be out, Luke Shaw may be out. Does that give you an advantage, a huge advantage in the second leg? United missing such key players. Well, we've, as we've just said, we have to see what happens in the next games for both sides and how they come away with it to see if there are players available. Today they've had two more injuries today. We have players who have gone away with knocks. Brian was in the squad today, but he's not played because he was, he was carrying a knock from the previous game. So it's going to be a case of how many players each team can get back. The team that recovers the fewest will have less of an advantage for the second leg. But I think both teams in that sense are in a similar boat. Thank you. Thank you.